Hello everyone, my name is Kalior. I bring you every week the latest news related to Blood Hunt and everything around it. I help explain the news in a way to better understand what's going on. For posterity, archival and recording purposes, today is September, Saturday, September 10th. Uh, it is currently 11.42 uh, a.m. Eastern Time. It has been 137 days since the release of Blood Hunt, so that's about four and a half months. It is uh, currently two days, 16 hours, until the end of the Summer Update Battle Pass. Uh, we are recording live, we're recording this live on Twitch every Saturday, uh, starting at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. If you are live, Feel free to uh, ask any questions you want in the chat. I'll do my best to answer them. And as a reminder and disclosure, I'm not a game dev. I'm not bound by an NDA, but I'll do the best I can to explain the news with some reasonable assumptions. Uh, I will start by making a small correction to uh, last week's news. I said that Blood Hunt was translated in 14 languages. My bad, it's 12. Uh, because I counted some languages twice because I based that on the website for some reason I actually went out there and found a press release with it says exactly 12 languages so small addendum uh, the topics that we're going to cover today uh, twitch drops game updates store updates the August updates survey post that is going to be the main piece of resistance today uh, giveaways and community events. Um, sorry, but first, if you haven't, please give me a follow on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, on Twitch, most most likely is probably going to be the most important thing to do it on Twitch. Even if you're not going to turn on the notifications, it would mean a lot. But these days, I'm trying to stream more casually during the week. Whenever I feel like it, it's been a complete, like, foobar this week, unfortunately. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, but I will do that. And I also have some giveaways. So maybe you want to keep the notifications on just if you want to be a part of the giveaways. That's something to keep in mind. All right. We are going to start today by doing a little transition. There we go. And just by adjusting the volume of this, because the the chill vibes are getting a little bit more uh, getting a little bit more spicy than usual. There we go. Uh, so today, in terms of Twitch drops, uh, this is uh, you currently are not seeing because of the chat bar. So I will remove this. There we go. This is the Sicarius tattoo. Um, that you currently see here, that's on the, um, uh, on the throat of our character here, and I just noticed that I don't have blood on open. I'm just gonna do that on the side. Um, so, yes, uh, as a reminder, this is week 6 of 10 of unique, uh, blood hunt items that we've never seen before. Uh, and, uh, yeah... Hold on. I uh, will need to take a moment to uh, turn off the sound in the game because I forgot to turn it on. This will take just a moment. Come on. Here you go. You, you, you can do it. There we go. So. I wish you a good evening. Oh, hello. Good evening to you too. Just gonna mute all of this there we go so when we're talking customization and tattoos i forgot where it is there we go sicario there it is it is just it is only a throat tattoo that you see there so it's going to depend exactly what you're going to wear on your character if you're wearing just this, this is kind of perfect outfit, you know, where you're almost entirely covered. Kind of, um, kind of tattoo that you'd want for this. Uh, and getting back to what I was showing you, uh, there is, 
Oh, I forgot to link. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's do let's do our things usually as we usually do. There we go. Uh, chat. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um next link. There we go. Of what we're currently seeing on stream. This is the updated list of participating streamers. So of course, you can go look at this list to know exactly who is going to be uh, having the um, uh, to have the special drops. Rem reminder that there's still the three uh, usual drops that pretty much everyone uh, in in the Blood Hunt can still try to get. And uh, yeah, if you're currently listening to this channel right now, you're getting drops. I got, we, I got I got added to the list. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Samir. Um, yes. This is new. So, yes, we we still have four more weeks, four more unique uh, cosmetics that are coming our way. Uh, in terms of game updates, well, first of all, PS5 updates. Uh, the Blood Hunt um founders ultimate edition currently is 30 percent off in the playstation store um up until september uh 22nd at th uh, 3 a.m eastern so if you are on ps5 and you've been contemplating this well there you go that's a small a small a small 30 percent discount um and before anyone asks for it there is still no info or I would say even um, popular, cur current popular demand to uh, ask the developers to bring the, um, the, founders, uh, the Founders Edition on PC. I know that for a very long while people were requesting it because they missed uh, early access and therefore they couldn't purchase this package i understand that there are uh this package currently that i'm showing on screen has some sp uh, ps5 exclusive elements in there um but some people have been asking to uh to have the the bring back let's say the uh the founders early access package back into pc just for having to have a chance to get all the cosmetics that were available at that time but they're still no uh there's still no indication that that could come back and also yes like i said there's i've seen very little demand for the community uh these days uh there used to be a time where it was something that was very much requested uh next up my french almost came through there we are having our first double xp event right now in the game and uh, hold on. There we go. That's gonna be better like that. Um, yeah. So currently, for the last week of the uh, of the summer update uh, battle pass, you are currently getting double XP uh, until the um, until the battle pass expires. So if you still got some levels to some leveling to do, now's the time to do it. This is the last weekend. You only got like two days right now to do it i suggest going with a friend um work together to try the, to get this uh, to get those levels done i recommend uh looking at the challenges section you've got a bunch of daily you've got some daily challenges you've got a bunch of weekly challenges as well um very easy to get those done and with double xp you're going to be able to get a lot of ranks in the battle pass if you're not able to complete it like there's still plenty of cosmetics and uh, credits that you can pick up along the way um another game update that uh, happened this week is we have uh, another band wave we have another band katana that has been slashing through uh cheaters of the game and uh yeah the the the, the community apparently uh opinions are mixed i'd say for the most part people have been saying that uh yeah lost a lot less cheaters some other people are are still saying like they are seeing cheaters however um 
seems to be like much, much, much less of an issue than it used to be. So that is very good to hear that for uh, for the community, or at least for the people that are uh, used to run into a lot of cheaters. Uh, next up, we're going to be talking about... Yeah, I want to point out that this week has been very, uh, very interesting in terms of the uh, in-game store. Uh, we have been getting this week four items that we have never seen before in game and it's like it's amazing to see like considering the updates the regular daily updates or the you know rotating items that we used to see in the store um so close to the end of a battle pass that we are getting new unique items uh cosmetic items being put in the store i find is still like incredible yes there are some of the items that we got uh since the summer update some of them have been repeating a few times i don't think that there's been any item that's been repeated more than three times that that's that's come in the store three times i shouldn't say repeated so uh this week we got the green eye shine uh that was added that's gonna be a lot of links uh we got the uh, Death Deity uh, tattoo that was on the arm and the leg. Same arm and same leg this time. Not uh, not left arm, right leg. Um, we got, as well, the uh, Lavender Glow eyes. And just today, a few hours ago, we got the Manu Mortis uh, body tattoo, which, if I'm looking at it in game right now, um, let's get back. There we go. I want to. There we go. It's in the store here. Uh, if you come closer, hey, Ferric Star. Welcome to uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, there you go. Uh, if you look closely at the tattoos, these aren't just black tattoos. These are, you know, they have they have the blue and the red. Now, I don't know if anyone still has that. Like, I know I probably have a pair somewhere in my apartment, like in some boxes somewhere. But I really want someone to come with the, th you know, the 3D glasses, the one with the blue eye and the red eye. I want someone to look closely at this tattoo with the with those um with those 3D glasses and tell me if it makes any difference because this reminds me a lot. Like when I used to be a kid, like all of these things, the 3D elements and the stuff like that, like I was obsessed. Like like I I used to own the first line of magic eye books too, like when that was a thing. So uh very interested to see if there's like if this makes any effect also interested to see like how you would feel playing blood hunt wearing those 3d glasses maybe to follow maybe something to follow anyways so this like so yeah four items that we got this week um four items that new items that we've never seen before that were in the store at the same time so that's you know i think that's pretty impressive uh, I am also bringing this to you because um, right now the links that I've been showing you are from the uh, the account Blood Hunt Fashion uh, that's run by Angry Vampires. Now, usually I don't like to bring necessarily negative stuff or negative energy to the stream or the newscast, but I want to take some moment to... Uh, underline this interaction that happened because um blood hunt fashion made a comparison of the purple and white eyes just to show that there is yes there is a difference in the tints but for some it's like not exactly the same thing and this person said pretty close no they are identical lol just a different name like all your other bullshit garbage you add to this game that looks exactly the same as something else from a different name you even done it with player banners 
uh, and you you read this like you you add to this game and and so tweeted out blood hunt fashion tweeted out once more for the people at the back i do not work for shock mob or blood hunt i'm not affiliated with them in any way i'm not any kind of partner or ambassador if you want to be angry at the shop updates don't send it to me send it somewhere else where devs will read it now i know that angry vampires has got her own set of like you know things that she likes or dislikes about the game and that's you know to everyone's everyone's got their opinions exactly about how blood hunt can or should be or how we can improve or things we want to see less and all of this um but there is something that i can say about them is that they are working like i'd say almost tirelessly like coming in every day to show you cosmetics like the store updates every day like practically almost every day uh it show you um they sh they show you how everything looks on different clans uh on different models just to see before you buy it and also puts that on twitter so everyone can see exactly what the store updates are uh, documenting this for the community for free of their own volition i i equate their work to the same work as meriden unknown does with the lore uh they're doing this for the community and they're the only ones that are currently stepping up at the plate to do this there are other people that wanted originally like pretty much like the news like the lore or like the, the the cosmetics you know there's other people that originally wanted to step up to the plate but she's i mean she's, they've been the only the only person to actually do that and to stick with that and to do this for the community as a service to the community so um i put the links in the chat if you want to go say hi follow follow blood hunt fashion uh if you, if you like if you haven't been following them for this like first of all follow them uh second of all if you've been following them uh you know what they've they've like this has been um you know like i said like right now they posted been having a shit week so this was a lovely message to work to 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 wake up to with someone called suck it that said <laughs> I'm not gonna lie right now, I don't have a problem with you, but you should be an ambassador though. You are the only person I see who lives and breathes the game. You're always posting nonstop uh, about on here and YouTube. Just, if you can, if you feel like it's a good idea, just go give them, send them a little, tweet them out a little thanks for all the efforts that they're doing for the community. Uh, be, I've done it myself because I really appreciate the work that they're doing. Let's just... Let's be more like suck it, okay? And not like the other person that tweeted that like it was a Blood Hunt official person. We don't need that in the community, okay? So I wanted to say that, and if if you're watching Angry Vibe Pirates, thank you for what you're doing. Now we are going to move on to something a little bit more positive. Uh, the August update survey post that blood hunt as post as put out this week uh let's bring a little link here there we go before we get into that i want to remind you what the goals of this blog post are it's to inform you of the state of the game the major issues that the game devs see on their end, the major issues that the community see on their end. Uh, they take the time to explain the decisions that they have to make on their end, the, the developers, in order to implement solutions to those issues. Uh, if they can solve them, if they can solve them, like you know, like at all in the short term or the long term. And this kind of post gives us a direction gives us an idea at least of where they're currently heading while uh taking into account 
their own wish list and the wish list of the community. I keep repeating this. I will keep repeating this that we've got two wish lists that are going on at the same time and they're trying to see like how we can mix and match things to keep progressing in terms of like the game updates. Uh, so at you know me and I've already warned you in the pre-show we're going to go through this. We're going to read everything line by line. I don't think that there's anything here that is worth skipping. Because I know I've done this with some parts in the past for some uh, posts that I don't think I, you know, are relevant for me to talk about. But we're gonna go through this. So yeah, like like I said, like you got some snacks, you got some drinks, like you know, make yourself comfy. We're gonna go through all of this, okay? So the August update learnings. Hello, Blood Hunt community. It has been a while, but we wanted to take some time to properly write up our thoughts on blood hunt and deep dive into the various obstacles that we have been facing during our journey since we launched the game to summarize our focus has been to try to adapt to a fader ca uh, faster cadence when it comes to content however we have been facing further challenges in reaching the quality level that we think is needed to expand the game further this combined with strong competition has led uh, has naturally led to a smaller but very active player base. Let's let's take this sentence in. This combined with a strong competition has led to a smaller but very active player base. Our core player base is there. It's active. Well, you probably know this. You're probably aware of this. There's going to be a lot of acknowledgement that's going to be in this in this post. And it's the kind of things that we've been looking for. The devs acknowledging certain facts that we are seeing in the, as being like players in the community. Having those facts acknowledged is already like a lot. It's making sure that everyone is on the same page now like I said like the community sees things the devs sees things the devs can't necessarily disclose everything that they're seeing but in terms of health of the game and what's happening with the game and the behaviors of people in the game they see that they are the experts they know more than the community about this we may get a glimpse at certain things on our end. They can see the whole picture on their side. Um, so whenever someone comes at the uh, comes at the at the devs and tells them like, did you like with pictures of graphs of you know number of concurrent players like go like, are you aware that the player base is 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 dwindling or the, that the number of players of that like they've already known before you did probably you know that kind of thing um hold on allergies just one second oh. just need a small tissue uh, allergies are menace right now fall is almost started so ah uh, sorry uh so strong competition let's not let's not forget that Competition in terms of Battle Royale, uh, a lot of updates have been released recently and some people have tried them, some people have moved away, some people have come back after trying the updates in other games. And of course this is, you know, it's normal at some point that every, every gamer right now, we don't like, it's rare that people just fully commit and stay to one game all the time. No, you're going to go to other games. You're going to try them out. You're going to test them out. There's a new update. There's a new season. You're going to like some, uh, share your time uh, between um, between one thing and the other. You know, you're going to do um, you're going to switch over from one thing to the other. It's normal. It's normal behavior. Uh, it's expected. But yeah, some people have been making those grand statements about like, okay, there's this patch, there's this new game. I'm leaving this until Blood Hunt posts something or there's a new update or something like that. We all know this, okay? But 
is still they're still acknowledging that this is happening but the blood hunt community at its core the small community that we have here very active there's no you know i don't see any i don't see really any sign of stopping from the people that are still there and still uh committed to this game personally from what i've been seeing like we're still up there i'm still there we're still hanging there hanging there once this hits a critical low uh, concurrent number of players, it creates difficulties for our matchmaker to operate optimally. Additionally, the game mostly consists of the most dedicated and experienced players, making it quite difficult to get into Blood Hunt as a new player. We believe that this is a serious problem we must prioritize. This is mirroring already our concerns. They're just saying like, yes, we also see this on our side. We are on the same wavelength. Um, and also you have to take into account uh, the information also by new players that are on, you know, I see a bunch of them post on Reddit. I see them post on uh, post on Twitter. I don't know if some devs have received like some messages individually. But yeah, new players have been going like, you know, I really like this game, but this is too hard. Or I could get my friends into this, but they don't have the patience that I have to stay there and learn and progress and get better you know they'd rather go with a more brutal experience that they can build on rather than this where it's just this looks like it's fun but then you get your head slammed in the wall many times and it becomes not fun and i totally understand that we should totally understand that so yes of course it is a problem that must be prioritized so going forward, we will focus on improving the quality of the uh, the quality life of the game further. Amongst other things, this entails to make changes to enable the game to function with less players, and improve the experience for new players. You can already see hints of demands that the player base has been asking for. You can see it there, right? We will share more about this in the future, but uh, now it is time to look at the learnings from our August community survey. So, before we go into this, acknowledging the most, acknowledging the state of the game and the concerns of everyone about the state of the game in the grand scheme, okay? This is what they're saying. We know we're going to look at this. These are our priorities. Now, let's move on to things that you had to say when we asked you the survey in the latest august patch so we have gone through the survey data you kindly provided us and uh, provided us with and can now present a summary of our opinions about the state of the game with the august update but more importantly we want to show you how we plan to address a lot of the feedback our deepest appreciation should to every one of you who completed the survey thank you again i want to bring it up again surveys are the ways that they can gauge what's happening with the wants and needs of the blood hunt community surveys are important participate in them please the august update from, uh, focused primarily on polish of the game resolving lingering bugs and further improving the balance in blood hunt we felt we needed to do this as you told us that these topics were a big concern for you as we've seen before the community asked for this and that's what they did the f your feedback has been in, uh, has has an impact and most uh, sorry and your most highlighted if issues influence what we work on for f the future updates so please keep filling in the surveys i should have just not put any commentary and just read the sentence there we go <laughs> the summer in hindsight it is no secret that neither uh, neither your nor our expectations were met neither in the summer update nor the August update. We did not manage to deliver enough content fast enough. We know the reasons why, and still people wanted to underline this. So let's remind everyone that, yeah, it was a shit sandwich. We all had to take a bite of it again. We still also had matchmaking issues related to waiting times as well as issues with new players getting to play with skilled players too quickly. That is again acknowledging the issue, but right now it's acknowledging the issue of specifically that time frame. 
what they acknowledged it a few paragraphs earlier, it was for the overall health of the game. You know, regardless of the little content patch, they was looking at it globally. Uh, our hope was that there would be a big influx of new and returning players through the new TDM mode, which was an incredibly popular request. It was an incredibly popular request. Originally, I was one of the people that was worried because I saw the number, the incredible number of requests asking for a TDM mode. And I was kind of worried that it was going to stray too far from the Blood Hunt mode. I'm actually kind of happy. I'm actually like very glad that it was a TDM mode. Like I've changed my tune about this. Uh, and that uh, and that these new players would mostly be facing each other. Uh, this would mean that our matchmaking system would let uh, would then let the veterans face each other, and the newer players would uh, get a soft onboarding into the game. Our hope was that this would lead to a higher player retention and a more fun experience for all players. That's what they thought. Instead. Our, play, uh, our new players would uh, most often face veteran players, which meant their initial impression was that the game is much too difficult to get into. This caused the number of active players to never spike enough due to a combination of factors, including the previous mentioned ones. Let us dig into our, uh, our, your general opinion of the game and address the most common feedback from the latest survey results first, then we will reveal what is coming up in the next update starting with the September update. Let's go! So yeah, um, I know that the message for TDM was this is going to be a great place to practice and get to know Blood Hunt. I know that this was touted as such. Personally, when I watched all the sponsored streams happen in the last two months that we've seen, a lot of the new players and the new player experience um they i'd say a majority had no interest for tdm mode because they couldn't grasp the basics of the game already uh, and so much of their gameplay even though they went and tried tdm because it was part of the sponsorship the sponsorship stream what they were required to do they had to play some uh, team deathmatch mode uh, games. Um, a lot of them wanted to get back to the solos, the duos, the trios. They wanted to get back into Blood Hunt mode. Um, some people, I did see some players that were very much used to TDM modes because they had past experience in that kind of mode. Let's say in first person shooters. Um, like TDM is something that is, you know, that's been there like for forever. Um, and uh, so for them getting into that kind of game, it was even more fun for them than regular Blood Hunt mode. They had much more fun because, you know, they like the chaos, they're used to this kind of thing, and they're still learning on the fly eventually about all their abilities. But those that I saw personally, they were very few and far between most people that were told go to and in, go into team deathmatch to learn the game disagreed very strongly with that statement uh, and they preferred to just go back and some even some of them even went back into the tutorial because they feel like they missed a bunch of stuff because they didn't actually read what was on their screen when they were doing the tutorial um but that's from my own personal observations. So what I'm seeing here in their um, in their conclusions about what they were hoping TDM to accomplish, I totally understand that um, even though they wanted to do that, I think that this was maybe the feedback of the community that tested Team Deathmatch was for people that are from people that already knew the game and already knew the mechanics of the game. And therefore, we're going, like me, for instance, that we're going like, yeah, I can see Team Deathmatch as a place where I can start to improve, start to get better, uh, start to learn a little bit more how to use the different guns and things that I don't necessarily want. Which is something that's kind of weird, by the way, seeing experienced players play uh, Team Deathmatch and complain. I can never get the gun that I want. I can never get the weapon that I want, which is just kind of like... 
No, but that's not the point. The point isn't to get the weapon that you want. It's you have to pick up the weapons that you can get and then figure out a way to work your way through actually getting the guns, the weapons that you want. Some people seem to have like a kind of like weird uh, perception of exactly how this should work. You know, it's not like they're kind of requesting, like, can I have the guns that I want spawn in front of me all the time? Which is, no, that's not how this game, this game mode works. Um, but sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked about that. Um, yeah, so yeah, so I'm thinking that the feedback of experienced players was saying, like, this would be a great mode to learn. But most players that already play a game, as I've already mentioned before, uh, they lose track of what it's like to be a new player in a game where you don't know jack shit about anything. Um, and that's in pretty much every game. And people complain sometimes when the uh, beginner or starter experience for a game is being worked on by devs. Just go like, why aren't you working on the stuff that we're interested in the you know, a high level of the game, on the high end, on the end game, of the rest of the game, why are you spending so much time on the beginner stuff? Well, it's because the onboarding is very important and sometimes is completely... Uh, an experienced player will look at the onboarding stuff and say, this is baby stuff, this is first step stuff, I'm not interested in this. Meanwhile, the new player is still going like, what are all these buttons? were all these things for um you cannot believe the amount of people that played the game that i watched okay and they were on their i don't know third second or third game when they realized they could climb up the buildings second or third game they've realized this that they could do that themselves just think about that that is kind of like the basics and one of the features of the game and they didn't know that that brings your perspective down exactly on the onboarding experience okay if it's not clear that you're supposed to climb buildings then there's some maybe there's some failings left and right and maybe it's maybe getting advice on this from the top players from the usual regular players of the game is maybe not the kind of feedback that the developers should get you know should get new perspectives from maybe new players or at least people that are aware enough that maybe uh maybe there are some improvements to make or some um uh, certainly, certainly the experienced players could give some feedback on, I wish I knew how to do X when starting, when, when I was onboarding in my first few experience, that kind of, that kind of feedback is very useful, but maybe not the feedback that you should be looking at in order to, uh, expect people to come back inside the game. So that being said, let's take a sip. I told you this was going to be a long one. <laughs> so, what do you think about Blood Hunt? We still got a lot of praise from our, uh, for our unique take on the BR genre with many positive appreciations for the gameplay and the style. I still say, even though I'm not someone that it, this is my first BR and I've looked at other ones and they did not interest me, this is a unique take that got me into BR. Absolutely. Uh, and there's some people that are even coming back right now that i've seen the last few weeks that have been coming back to blood hunt because they've tried the new updates on the other games on other brs and they're just like nah after after playing blood hunt i can't go back to the other stuff it's too easy or it's just like it's like i'm missing the unique take of blood hunt like the fun the fun gameplay that's happening here like you're kind of like i wish that this could be in the other games um, but no, I have to come back to Blood Hunt to get the Blood Hunt experience, which is normal, you know. Um, most of you think that Blood Hunt still provides a fresh, a fresh perspective and that the game has reached its best state yet with uh, the many improvements and fixes. Agree strongly on this. I know that there's some people that are just like, oh, why can't we go back to early access state where they where there was no problems, which is just like, 
you are looking at rose tinted glasses there were plenty of issues that were happening in early access you just didn't run into them hello yuki uh thank you for joining um you also showed appreciation for the game ch uh, for the balance changes save for one you felt that the burst rifle rebalance pass made the gun much too strong compared to the others based on your immediate feedback on this we are now reverting the changes of that weapon as it is, has become too dominant much too dominant agree i i still think that it was like i thought originally that it was an intended overbuff that was made to the weapon but no, this, 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 this sent these sentences make it very clear that this was not the intention. It was not like trying to, um, I thought that it might have been like a kind of sneaky way to just like kind of put focus on the burst rifle. Because some people were just, I guess they saw usage of the burst rifle and maybe like people were not using it as much as they thought they could have been. So they gave it like a stupidly amount kind of big buff and therefore people would go for it and you know because they were evading entity camps or that kind of stuff or just like many other theories of like this like this is why they buffed it um and in some way like it's good a lot of people that have never used the burst rifle have started using it the problem is way too many people started using the burst rifle you would come to entity camps where there was no one left and it wasn't like because of the like the the uh the, the the variant of no entity no it's just like they're all dead because people wipe them and everyone's running with a burst rifle and i like the thing that they did with the precision and the handling of the of the gun but that was was like this is way too much so yeah of course they're gonna nerf it i get to see the point i went over the top yeah i think that yeah my idea was that i thought that originally that was intended but yeah what's happening currently hold up is it my game is it my game? I'll just close this, right? Yeah, I think I think I'll close it for right now. I'll get back to it. I'll get back to it later because I'm seeing some frames dropping right now on my OBS. And it may be because I have like a bajillion amount of like Chrome tabs that are opened up. It's not just on this screen that you're seeing right now. I've got my other, I got my regular Chrome that has about like yeah thirty something, or close to thirty something. <laughs> tabs happening <laughs> okay that might be it um okay sorry getting back to this uh unfortunately however your opinion of the uh overall opinion of the game has decreased decreased slightly since we released the summer update some of the recurring written opinions on why your rating has dropped are concerns about the lack of significant contents in our other updates the number of cheaters and the changes to our game modes Furthermore, you told us that you spend too much time in matchmaking and that the ma uh, matches versus other players aren't even in terms of player skills. In fact, most of you uh, list both as reasons as both as reasons as issues that might prevent you and your friends from playing more Blood Hunt right now. This is important. This is very important feedback. Um, the reality is that there are uh, is that there simply are not enough players to sustain the game 24 7 not even in our most active regions instead unless you are playing at prime time you will be waiting for several minutes to then be put on a high ping server which will deteriorate your game experience this is the first impression for many of our new players which in terms of first impressions not doing good you know i myself have been um just in terms of because i have so many games to play uh like i have an abundance of games to play um when it comes to like organizing or scheduling my gaming time i know that in order to like spend less time in matchmaking i only play during peak time in na uh where i am so yeah i this is the fact for for pretty much everyone but in terms of first impressions that is that does not bode well uh in the survey several uh, of you are asking for bigger and more significant content and features for the game just in general people want more uh without going too deep in the details the common thread in your request is for us to add both more visual content cosmetics and vanity content 
and then additional locations as well as the option to team up with other players across platforms. These are big feature and content requests. Yes, we are finally addressing officially rather than just in like um, answers to tweets um, that yeah, the option of playing with other players across platforms. I've been wanting to hear about this for quite a while because I'd say like the latest like official answer I saw that about two months ago um, because uh, what they were saying at the time if I remember correctly was that yeah we're looking into it we're looking into like if there's a way to do this to implement this quickly and then that was pretty much like the only latest like update that they said about this because oh, we already knew that it was quite a task to do it was not something that was implemented um, for the game at launch and um, yeah and there were significant issues with this um, especially when you're going up in um, uh, in solos, there was no problem, but the moment that you include duos and trios, several other issues pop up and they need to address that. Uh, plus, as I've been suggesting, suggesting many times, there are probably uh, several issues or concerns that need to be addressed uh, with the PlayStation Network because they have their own they have their own universe and set of rules with dealing with servers and what they allow developers to insert through this. Like I know that with the, there is a, um, how do you call this? There's a content package that they can give to uh, devs to help them to develop this kind of solution on their end. But it seems like it is much more complicated and they haven't been able to give us necessarily any details on this but it's still a big want it's been a constant ask from the community since launch i mean it's even since like early access i believe it's been like that is a that is a, a an ask that is being tweeted and retweeted and re-asked in uh, on reddit uh, and i believe even in the discord like constantly and unfortunately they haven't been able to give us updates about this but right now here's an acknowledgement of it uh speaking of a cross platform open this game will release on xbox series uh for the xbox we know that right now it is a playstation exclusive uh until the end of uh october 2023 so we have still a year to wait for this um however there needs to be a significant demand from people out there so they can say we are going to spend some time and money developing an Xbox solution when the exclusivity with PlayStation is completed um, I know that a lot of people have been saying have been saying this I know that there's been a response from uh, Samir about this in a thread that I have not saved on my end because uh, a lot of people have been saying like put it on game pass it's gonna help the issues uh, but right now I believe that the answer was right now there's no uh, what, what we're seeing both on PC and PS5 is that because of these concerns that we're addressing right now in the blog post um, retention issues of the player uh, like of the player base right now in terms of like percentage of the population the um like it it would not necessarily solve the issues because some people have been saying like put it on xbox put it on game pass it's going to solve the population issues right now in terms of proportions it does not look like it would be the solution that we need right now uh, we need to fix the game itself to be in a better state to keep onboarding players and to retain them and then whenever the the possibility to add xbox to this whole situation 
uh, is enabled, then yes, of course, we're going to bring them. Right now, it's just legal exclusivity issue, and that's all we're going to hear about this. Now, as I hope that when we get, when we're getting like into next year and we're approaching from October, uh, I would hope and I would probably encourage uh, the players from the players, the Xbox players, if they absolutely, if they really want Blood Hunt on Xbox to start a campaign, to start get getting that moving so that, you know, there's, there's, there's a movement that's created. There's a demand that cannot be ignored, let's say, by the developers, or at least, you know, that they can, the developers can take this whole bunch of demands and bring that higher up and go like, here's our case for spending money into developing a solution for Xbox. That is what I'm seeing in the future for this. Uh, also hoping for PS. Uh, PS4 because not everyone can afford PS5 at the moment. Yuki, right now the the answer for this is that uh, PS4 uses HDD. It's using hard drive uh, instead of uh, solid state drives, and that is the main reason why it's not on PS4. You would have to retrofit an entire game to work on PS4, and in terms of development effort cost and time uh i believe the answer was like pretty much no kind of like you know depending on the popularity of the game uh maybe not going to not closing the door entirely on this but it's just like in terms of like like probability of like we can do this to we're never gonna do this it's like it's Magic 8 Ball says like, says it's very not likely to come on PS4. Don't give out hope. Don't give up hope for this. Um, I think it's more of a technology. It's it is currently a technology issue more than anything. Um, I would say. Um, how can I say this? Okay, you know about emulators. You know, you take older games and you want to run them on current systems. Of course, current, putting them on current systems, the processing has changed, the processing of data, uh, both data and like sound, sound and image, works completely differently. That's why you need emulators. An emulator that is be basically able to recreate in a certain environment uh, the environment that the games were supposed to be played back in the day. So it's kind of like setting and tuning to decrease the speed at which our current technology is working in order to make that game play. Now that's, you know, taking from lower and bringing it to higher. Now to bring it from higher to lower, that is a totally different ballgame. Because if the game was developed with solid state um, solid state drives in mind, they work very differently from hard drives. Sorry, um, and uh, I'd say like if the 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 biggest people that are proponents like or that know about these technicalities, like besides developers, are speedrunners. Um, Especially in this era, if you look at if you look at GDC, like games done quick, uh, you would see in certain uh, I'd say in the last few years, there uh, they like to play like they play they like to play old games and play them on current systems and all that sort of stuff. Especially for PC players, that's an issue where uh, they take uh, they take old games, play them on modern PCs because that like they have modern PCs to be able to run the latest content at games done quick. Uh, sometimes some speedrunners will run into issues because they have old old games set up on old computers in order to make them run at their like optimal capacity. And sometimes when you're trying to do like frame for, frame perfect inputs, uh, you know, to just to hit things, hit the space bar at the right time, if you take a game that was developed for a hard drive state, 
and you put it on a, a solid state drive, the game moves too quickly. So then sometimes you see them speedrunning games on like a system that's not meant to be like that, even though it looks perfectly okay. All their inputs that they're doing with their keyboards or their controllers, they're completely off. And that's awful to see speedruns like this because like the game moves faster than they can actually like make inputs. Anyways, that's that's my take on this. Um, yes, Cthulhu uh, most likely happened with the exclusive. But I mean, Cthulhu, it's not like that's the that's the kind of like asterisk that you need to add on the uh, PlayStation exclusive deal. It's that it's not a given that is going to happen because there's development time. You need to make sure that the game is able to work with the hardware of Xbox, especially like which ones, which versions of the Xbox you want to you want it to run on. And also you have to make sure that you've got all the inputs and all the security inputs that are required to make the game run with the Xbox uh the all the xbox systems you know the game pass and all of this like it you need a lot of things to be put in place um yeah and it's like may it's it is a possibility but at the same time you need to basically tell uh, tell a part of your team that is working on the game okay you're going to be separated from the rest of the uh for the rest of the team and you're going to spend your we're going to spend some time and money on you trying to get this game to fit in and you know in the current state of the game where we need like all the resources all the time right now to be focusing like they're currently saying on meeting the demands of the the demands of the player base that is still playing the game and as well like the demands of people that are trying to play this game uh, right now, it's just like all resources need to be like on this paragraph that I just highlighted. You know, more content, more locations. You know, some people are getting a little bit tired of this section of Prague. Like, um, Meriden showed up in one of my streams earlier this week and reminded me some a fact that I completely forgot. Right now, the map that we're playing in Prague is just the old town sector of Prague. There are 10 other sections in Prague that exist that are, you know, un unrealized, unused currently in our Blood Hunt game. So maybe the fight uh, between Camarilla, Anarchs, and Entity is also in different regions of Prague. So... You know, it would be uh, it would be advantageous for them to do that to do that kind of approach because you would still have prog like assets that are already in the game. Uh, so you just need to like just just need to create a new region. But I mean, some things would already be in place, um, and you'd still have the same environment like in the background. Like, many things that you could do for a new region of Prague. Like, you already have a lot of elements that are already currently in the game. So, developing the, another another section of Prague would already be, like... How can I say, like, you know... Would be less time-consuming. Because you already have that. If you want to go, to go with another city... Well, that's going to be, like... Other research. Other, you know other assets to create more time more money being spent on this yeah return on investment as well yeah of course so anyways getting back to what we we're talking about let let us address the reasons for the lack of better content pieces in our update development development dilemma hold on let's take another sip By the way, I hope that what I'm saying makes sense to you. If some things don't make sense, like, don't hesitate to write in chat. I'll do my best. Again, not a dev. These are assumptions from me and from my her, learned or been, you know, because I've been following game dev for a while. I'm not positioning myself as an expert. I'm just relaying the news or at least possibilities or try to make understand to make you understand, make this reasonably understandable. Moving on. 
the development dilemma. The big question on most of your lips is, why are you truly releasing more content and features more often? This is a question we cannot answer without owning the reality. That is, we underestimated the amount of time it takes to implement and expand upon the game. We have plenty of things in our backlog, all of which have taken longer to develop than we expected, especially considering how we moved from larger seasonal updates, which we received feedback from you uh, was and still is much too slow. Rain Delancey! Thank you, thank you for showing up and raiding, uh, raiding the channel. We are currently going through uh, the, um, uh, we're going through the uh, update, the blog updates that we got this week. We're going into details about that. Uh, thank you for, uh, thank you for your first chat in uh, in stream, Rain and Emma, Lu Emma Louise, Emma Louise, Emma Louise. Oh my God! Okay, I got it. <laughs> thank you for following and chatting. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm doing well going through this. It's a it's a chunky Very chunky uh, week that we got right now and we're taking our time. We're going through this uh, So getting back to what I was saying uh, One of our goals of moving away from seasons was to be able to respond quicker to the needs of our community That way the development of blood hunt could be better adapted to your feedback in short time in short enough time However, making such a change also meant that we had to change our processes to push our updates out faster. These are all things that we knew from the latest updates uh, that we got for the summer. It's something that they wanted to do. It's something that they said was going to be an ongoing process to change the, an ongoing process to change their processes. Better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> At least you got it on your own. Can you tell how many people can be MLOs? Yeah, that sounded... It's just like, it sounded weird. There's a reason why it's spelled like that. <laughs> it's good. Um, for these processes to be effective, everyone on the team needed to adapt uh, to this new way of making Blood Hunt. This change has affected the initial deliveries. Anyone that's worked in an office or a job where suddenly there's change that's being put on you, like coming from upstairs, your responsibilities of changing. This new way of processing things has changed. We're gonna change you from this department to another. You need to learn new things. Or someone has, uh, someone's gone to retirement and now you have some new responsibilities. You need to figure out how stuff works. It takes time for anyone to adapt, especially when Suddenly you have like a new bunch of people that have different expect expectations from you. You need to deliver this, this and that deliverables like in some new chain of command, change of moving things inside the, uh, inside the office and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, of course, that if that changed the initial deliveries. That's something that I personally have been expecting. Um, and then I know it was was going to happen. Unfortunately, that was going to have us a a, a a um, how can you say like for a quick moment that was going to have an impact, but in the long run, because of the new changes, now we're gonna have a steady stream. Now that everyone knows exactly what they're doing, like it's a slow, a very slow start to adapt, and then suddenly it's gonna pick up steam, and we're gonna get more and more things. That was the whole re the whole reason reason why they said they were saying we're gonna change the way that we're doing things. Um. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the lurk, man. Uh, and thank you for sending a raid my way. I really appreciate it. Uh, while we indeed now can push out updates more quickly in terms of cosmetics, we also need to spend more time on releasing updates and getting patches up to quality as we have less time to spend on larger pieces of content. So, smaller bits. They thought they were going they were going with the with the with the chunky updates that they were going to release once at a time and everyone would be happy with the game in the meantime. Unfortunately, because we need, how can I say, like the game needs to be a little bit more micromanaged these days. Uh, that's why they're focusing on getting more stuff, like easy, easy, easy to eat bites, easy to consume bites. Um, 
because of these because of these changes. But you know, the part about um, we can push uh, more quickly in terms of cosmetics. We've seen this, and I've noted that early, uh, like I've mentioned earlier. You know, four new items never before seen cosmetics in one week. When a patch is about to, when a patch is about to land, like what is this? No other game would do that. Like other games, usually with a store, would, um, you know, they'd get they'd blow their load <laughs> through the original like beginning of a content patch where you see everything, and then you'd have store items return once in a while. Uh, hello, Zalia. Um, thank you for following. Uh, yeah, so, so and, and then items would return and would cycle until the end of the patch, and then you get new contents coming out. But yeah, like we've, like I've said, like this, this in this time frame that we've seen, maximum three times some items have been in the store, and new items keep showing up. So like this, we can see this like you know, really this week. So if people are questioning that, like, okay, it may not be the cosmetics you want, but you know what? Some of the cosmetics that we're that we're getting, at least the new cosmetics, at least the new things. Personally, like, I'm I'm happy with what we're getting. Yeah, of course we could do we could get more, we could get better, we could get things that we actually want to get. Of course, sure. That's that's you know that's up to the bait and and like keep sending out your suggestions of what you want to see in terms of cosmetics. But right now, cosmetics, banging, getting them out, getting new stuff. This is great. So, what are we doing? What uh, what are we doing to sort this out? So, September update to be released next week mixes the previously planned items with new fixes and change that we have prioritized based on hundreds of requests from the community. So, items that have been previously planned that they had to reshuffle because of their internal reshuffle or because suddenly they couldn't work on them. So, items that they have had in the pipeline for quite a while now are finally going to be able to be added to the game. That's what I'm interpreting by previously planned items. These include a first iteration of changes to our matchmaking rating system and practically puts players on a similar skill level. This presents a challenge more appropriate to each player's ability. Let's unpack this. Matchmaking rating system. As we know, as you probably know, as a majority of players don't know, we've had a matchmaking a rank, a rating system inside the game for quite a while. Unfortunately, it has not been able to properly be functional because of the number of players. Because we were focusing on matchmaking queues, starting lobbies faster, because that's our main interest, rather than uh, actually having a matching of skill with other people because they said well you know that's the usual debate in most of games that have matchmaking it's like do you want longer queues to be matched with players of your skill or do you want shorter skills to have more games fortunately you might get destroyed if you have lower skill but at least you have games you're able to progress in some other kind of way you know so it's always like the cost of one and the other. Um, there we go. And, and 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 let's be clear. Let's be clear. You see that word? Practically puts players on a similar skill level. Practically. Of course, we've, addr we've addressed just a few paragraphs earlier in the same post that, you know, matchmaking right now, getting cues, getting matches to start is not the best so i don't know exactly how this will work but we know that their intention is that for the long term we will solve further matchmaking issues related to lack of players by using npcs to make up for missing players 
such a feature will take a little longer to polish and will not be making it into the month's updates. More details on this feature will come as soon as it's available. Good! The, the, the feature that everyone has been requested. Add bots, add AI to some games so at least we get more lobbies. Probably what's going to happen is, you know, you're going to get a lot of, um, you know, high tier players being put inside a lobby by themselves with a bunch of bots. Same for lower tier players, but at least making sure that the different skilled players are separated from one another. Uh, we have also spent time on addressing the issue with cheaters. We've seen blog posts about this. Based on your reports and complaints, with our new methods, we can ban a larger number of them more often and more easily. There's the article that we've already talked about. Cheaters will be, as a reminder again, I need to still talk about this, Cheaters will always be an issue, and especially in a free-to-play game, ga uh, cheaters will always be an issue. There'll always be something that's going to be ish that's going to be thought of, that's going to be on our mind. Keep using the report function. Keep reporting, uh, whether in-game or take a screenshot or take a video, have proof. There's also uh, on the support website for Blood Hunt. There's a way to report people. Keep using this. This is effective reporting players is effective it gives them more info uh on the dev side to know exactly to better identify the new cheats to new behaviors of cheaters because they keep evolving so any report is usually it is 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 helpful so just keep doing this uh cheaters are always going to be an issue it's like like you should be used to this by now in in any other game as well it's just like the effectiveness they're increasing their effectiveness we're gonna see how that goes they're putting some more efforts into this you know so far the community in general has been very happy with the efforts that they've been doing moreover we are adding the new shorter but sweeter noir pass with some visually appealing outfits and cosmetics in the next update Jean Chief, you're here. This is your cue. Uh, <laughs> shorter but sweeter. Now, shorter but sweeter. What exactly does that mean? Are we still sticking to the uh, this the shorter but sweeter? Does that mean that you know the changes that they made to the battle pass for the summer update? Are they still gonna make it there? Is 100 level, does 100 levels, like, does that still apply or we're shorting it down to 50 levels? Or is it the length of the battle? Like, are we not going to have a 62 day, 62 day battle pass and we're going to get a 30 day pass? Like, uh, some newer games with battle passes have been starting to do to deal with a more, um, how can I say, um, FOMO induced player base um, but yes visually appear appealing outfits and cosmetics in the next update which some of them have said booba anyways uh, also <laughs> understood that some of you did not have enough time to complete all the tiers in the previous summer pass in time so aside from the double XP event which is not active we're also uh, we are also with the new Noir Pass reintroducing the option to skip tiers with tokens. Some people are going to be very happy with this. Um, I know that myself, um, the Summer Pass. I I've, I've been saying I've been saying like the Summer Pass is like the the changes that they've made to the XP gain, uh, or at least the you know how you go through the tiers of the summer pass i thought it was fantastic i thought it was acknowledging that summer was out there i'm not going to play blood hunt necessarily every single day and i've got other games to play i've you know the summer i'm gonna go outside i'm gonna see my family i'm gonna see like i've had social events and all of this and i thought that was perfectly appropriate 
However, there's still people, I was even seeing some tweets and on some streams, I've seen some people like complaining that, oh, they're never going to get the summer, the, the, the battle pass completed in time. Unfortunate, even though some people have been like grinding it and within a few, a uh, few weeks, not even a few weeks, they were already like done with this, with the battle pass. Good to you. That's how you want to play the game. That's how you want to grind it. We all have our different ways of doing things. Uh, but yeah, a bunch of people wanted to necessarily, not necessarily play the game, wanted to buy the whole battle pass and be done with it in some sort of way. Uh, I thought that it was a good idea to not uh, have the option to buy the battle pass because then it got in and tight, it, like it, it was telling people well, no, you actually have to play the game because right now what we need is not people to send us money. We need people to play the game. So play the game, get through the battle pass. You're going to get all your items. But now there seems that there was a very big demand for this. So they're bringing it back. Um, yeah, skip tears. I missed a lot of decisions due to home, uh, to work and home life. So don't want to miss out on nice cosmetic if I can help. Yeah, exactly. I absolutely get this, Ferex. Um... I thought it was a good idea on their end, but in in the end, let's see what that's let's see what that's gonna what what that's gonna bring. Like if we um, if bringing it, if bringing the option to buy the tiers is gonna be something that people will want to do, but it leads to less players in the queues, maybe they're gonna revert it back. I don't know. We're gonna see. With all these actions taken, we are still acutely aware of your expectations. You want more major content updates, so let us addre address these expectations. Another sip, let, why not? Mm. Big feature and content requests. Some of the more common requests you have sent us are for impactful things like additional maps, clans, factions, and archetypes. All these require a significant amount of dedicated developer, developer time and testing. As you know, they try to be very meticulous with their making. They want to make a quality game. I don't care how cynical you can get, like when I'm saying a statement like this. Really don't give a hoot. They, what I've been seeing the developers say, mentioned in some of the streams and seen on Twitter, they want to make a quality game. And so far, a quality game is what we've been getting. Like, we see the, the time that the, that's been put into the polish of everything. Um, and it doesn't, like, it's not going, uh, how can you say? It's not going unnoticed, let's say, okay? Uh, things that are in there that are pretty fired. They, sometimes they may, might not be to your taste, they might be to taste someone else. But at least they're still, uh, still of the same amount of quality, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe tattoos could be a little bit, eh. Anyways, um, more color probably. As mentioned, we have done some work on content like this. However, with finite resources and the demand for live services to adapt to changing circumstances, we have had to move developers from one thing to another at short notice. Fixing really annoying bugs, for example. This meant that the development of big features was on big features was pushed, and things like, for example, a new venture archetype, could not be tested and completed in time, and had to be postponed further. It's there. It's written. It's written right there. It's written right there. You see? You see? It's there. It's there. They they they, they mentioned it. They mentioned it. Are we happy about this? Yes, there was an intention to have another venture archetype. There was supposed to be an eighth archetype being put in the game. But the bugs, the issues that we had, they had to be all pushed back. And trust me, a new archetype has to be tested thoroughly like we've seen with bringing the enforcer in it was not to the level of expectation of everyone i think we all i think there's no debate on this 
I think we all agree that it was not up to everyone's standards and what people expected, you know, in the game in terms of balance of that care uh, of that archetype. But I don't know, uh, Ferex. I know that um, usually in games, characters that have crowd control abilities are very frowned upon. And especially in a very action movement type of game, getting some things that crowd control you, I don't, I don't see them like standing criticism. Um, there's still, there's still like, th I believe there's still complaints about fresh, flesh of marble on the enforcer still. Um, again, it's not the thing that I would like to have as a as a as, a, as an ability on an enforcer. I would prefer it to be damage reduction, but that's again just me. We're gonna see how that's gonna work. So, anyways, that's to say that there's they have. This is to say we have stuff. We've been working on stuff. We've had to put stuff on the side though, because of pressing issues. So don't worry. They've got many irons right now. It's just a question of when can we actually pull them, test them thoroughly, and bring in, bring them inside the game. By the way, <laughs> they're, they're, they're not linking it, but just kind of by the way, there are jobs at Shark Mobs. There are, there, there are openings. Uh, they help you with relocation if you need to. By the way, just as a mention... For some people, I know that some people have been actually been offered the possibility of joining the Shark Mob team to come work on Blood Hunt, and there's other op opportunities and possibilities. I'm just saying, if you really like the game, you really want to put some effort and time and blood and tears and sweat into it, uh, if you really like it, there are jobs at Shark Mob. You just go in here and go click it and follow. Um, yeah, that's a good question, Ferex. That's a very good question. But uh, yeah, actually, you know, I would have to open up the open up the lore books and see uh, and see what V five Ventru might have. You know, that could be used as abilities. I just think that possibly, though, right now, to try to suggest things for the Ventru, uh, it's probably too late because they're saying that they are developing it, so it means that they have ideas already. So going like, I have I have ideas for, you know, Ventru abilities might be a little bit, might be a little bit too late. They've already, they're already working on it. So um, uh, just saying, like, in terms of suggestion, it, it might be too late, but... You know, suggestion for other archetypes, for other clans to be brought in. You know, we don't have any confirmation of that, so just keep on with the suggestions. Uh, just know that anything that requires a change of the rigging or the character requires a lot more development time. Because some people have been saying Gangrel for a while and just like imagine the ability to change it to Wolf. Well, Wolf means a new form. A new form means new rigs. A new rig takes time. A lot of time. Just keep that in mind. Um, so probably Tremere will be something that I can see like in the like the possibility of like maybe clans that might be brought in a little bit short time. Uh, sorry. Whoa, whoa, ha! Misclicked. Misclicked. Hold on. Where was I? Did I close it? Oh, jeez. Did I just close it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. I'm sorry. I'm dumb. Sometimes I right-click a little bit too quickly. Let's get back into this. Uh, I would love to work for Sharpa, but I think I'm not really made for that. Hey, Yuki, you, you, you never know. You never know. Can't see what's, um, it depends exactly what, you know, what possibilities, what possibilities are there for you. Um, hello, Excision, Excision, uh, I mean, Schmokey, not Excision, Schmokey, <laughs> thank you for being here. Um, so, getting back to what we were saying, Venture Archetype, yes. Um, 
contrary to to uh, what some of you might think, there there has also been several requests for more game modes. Because a lot of the a lot of the let's say concerns of some people, um, yeah, some people have been worried about the queues and have been asking or requesting for less game modes, less less different queues to. Sh to shut down some other queues instead to help out with the game queues. Uh, so yeah, apparently there's been several requests for more game modes. So really just not thinking about the general health of the game or the queues of the game. They're just like, we want more things to do in game. Which to me, in terms of logical mind, I'm surprised to see. But apparently there's been a lot of requests that have been said in the survey for more game modes. This is something we added in the past, which means that we now have more experience with and data to analyze. The tough lesson since launch is that we were adding, adding modes too quickly. At one time, we had a significant player base spread between them. However, as the player base shrunk, we have had spread our players much too thin, which is why we had to make some drastic measures and try to rotate game modes. Therefore, we cannot consider more game modes or bring back trios at this point in time. There you go. It said in, in red and white. <laughs> um, for those people that were expecting this, again, like we said before, to bring back trios, you need to get more people back in and then you need to convince people to play trios. Because Trios was the least played Q by a long shot. What about ranked mode? Some of you, uh, you are asking to us to re-add ranked mode. In comparison to all the other game modes, it was by far the least popular one. So to amend what I just said, because I completely forgot about it for a second, ranked was the least played one, even less than Trios. Are the present circumstances and with the current side of our active player base it is it simply is not a feasible option instead we are considering finding another way of earning the dedicated rewards created for the rank mode further down the road this should be interesting to a lot of people it's like hey we're gonna find another way to give you that obsidian blast black mask if you put some time and effort into it like, would most people that are not interested in rank, would they be interested to put some time and effort into this? Heck yeah. Would I, would I spend, like, if you gave me another, like, non-ranked mode to get the silver tattoo that wasn't ranked? Heck yeah, I would try to get that. Just bring me in. Bring me in, coach. I can do it. So, you know, that's something to look forward to. Closing words. The expectations are and have always been high for Blood Hunt. And we must be clear about what is possible under the current circumstances. We must be real realistic and not overpromise, which is what we are going to get. They are not going to overpromise things, which is why, you know, there's been a lot of, there's been some people that have been saying like you're not advancing yourself too much on things to look forward in the future. Well, that this is their philosophy. We do, of course, understand that this is a letdown and we are not delivering more cool things faster. Once the coming updates are released, we will again evaluate the status of the game. This again is important. The coming updates are released. We will evaluate the status of the game. So right now, they have updates planned for the near future of the game to bring it to a certain state and once that state is reached we will see how the player base is reacting and the current state of the game so they have a plan it's not a roadmap that but they have a plan and they don't want to over promise and they don't want to overshare. you, you kind of see what they're getting at you kind of see what they're getting at there you know, it's like, we want to tell you some things, but we can't because we don't want to create unrealistic expectations on your end. And also, I could say for myself, 
unrealistic expectations, the community is able to get them, like, to get a lot of them on their own, you know? A lot of them on their own. Like, it doesn't mean, it doesn't take, it doesn't take much for us to be hyped about things. Um, like, I was thinking that we we're going to get a revamped store, maybe? And uh, trying to find back er the original post that I saw that hinted that to me, I believe that maybe I was wrong and it was instead talking about the rig of the store. It was talking about the rig of the big rig, basically the changes to our character sprites that we've had in the summer update. So I maybe have been responsible for maybe creating hype for something that may not happen. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we are we are truly grateful for all the players that have been supporting blood hunt and those of you who are still helping us to improve the game that means you that means all of you right now okay and i and i appreciate you supporting me at the same time too <laughs> we look forward to continuing seeing all of you in prague as is our custom the day after the release of the september update we will send out another survey on social media your input is vital to us to determine whether we are heading in the right direction or not. We kindly ask you to fill it out when it comes. Patch notes are for the September update out to be released on September 12th. Until then, see you at dusk. So, people. What are we getting from this post? And I, I by the way, I believe that this is the right way to do this for this show to take every sentence in because we probably like all of us we probably skimmed through this and didn't necessarily take in time what was being said especially like for certain key sentences that were put that were put inside this article um let me just check something Oh, I appreciate all you people that are currently inside the chat not saying anything, but you're in here. Appreciate you. Uh, can't wait for Halloween. I need them Halloween tattoos and skins. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So what are we getting from this post? Okay. Like they're saying in the, the conclusion statements, we're not of the, out of the woods yet with problems with the state of the game. They're aware of all. They're aware of all of your concerns about the game. They are aware. Just acknowledging it sometimes is better than not getting any acknowledgement at all from the developers. Uh, some people were saying like, okay, you said a bunch of stuff that we already knew. It's not just that. They are acknowledging, yes, we see that on our end. It's not necessary to tweet at us about like again those people that tweet them like are you aware of the number of players inside the game yes they are very acutely aware of what's happening inside their game what they want to know is how the player base feels about it and what they want from it because again it's the situation of you have your nose too much inside the inner workings of the game you don't have this this distance that you need for proper feedback this is like this is why it's so important to give the feedback and to fill in the surveys okay so they know our concerns they're acting on it uh they're acting on it not as quickly as we'd want or as they would want it's also important like they're 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 really with us on this um and like i said it's not the roadmap that we expected and that we wanted like me but they explain why they can't give they can't give us a roadmap for now like that's what they say about like we'll reevaluate the current the state of the game after those certain updates that we want to put in okay so maybe after that it's just gonna go like okay let's see what we get are is our core player base still there have they stuck with us have all the improvements that we wanted to stabilize the game are they in place are they effective can we work can we can we start building on this because right now it's just like we put something in place 
and the foundation's shaky. So right now we're 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 remaking, we're fixing the foundations of the game. Can we build on this? Is basically like what we're doing. So they're they're doing construction right now. They're doing construction with the best time that they can with the amount of resources that they have shoring all this up. Uh and yeah, after at that point everything stabilized we're gonna see if there's a, if a roadmap is going to be possible um hey infinite skyline so what happens now what happens now is that in two days 16 hours the battle pass for the summer update is going to end right now it is by the way if you know, I don't know if anyone's considered it, but this means this is your last chance to buy any of the seasonal outfits that are, are that are in store. I know for a lot of people, you just like you already bought the items that you the, the 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 sorry the costumes that you wanted, but now's the last time to reconsider if you, there's some ones that you might want to purchase. Never know when they're gonna come back. Okay, so uh, there's that. Uh, what happens now also is that, hold on, let me link this as my loud neighbor is thumping on the stairs and it's very distracting. Meriden, of course, Meriden Unknown. Um, yeah, he's done a little recap here of the expiring rewards that will become unobtainable after the summer season uh so there's the recap if you click on the things you can see all the rewards all the items um uh, and these are the only ones that should be uh going away and of course he mentions that for those that are affected by the quest bugs that are currently prevalent in some in some uh, accounts there has been no word yet on what they might do to compensate for these awards not being obtainable to you but i sincerely hope their upcoming article will shed some light on the situation with that which is as not but maybe in the patch updates there's going to be a word about this maybe they're going to address this i would uh, uh, we've been reporting, I believe it was last week, that um, like they are very aware and still working on trying to find exactly the, 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 the cause and how to bring reparation uh, and compensation for this. And there's also missing lore that is attached to this for those who, you know, want to pay attention to the lore. So, like, for those who still have those quests, go and do them uh because you have two days you have the weekend um uh or you know if you care to get some of them hello tobias welcome we're looking at possibly extended the deadlines for those thank you very much thank you for uh thank you for for saying this i really appreciate like it, it was going to be a source of worry for everyone um i will um I will have to make myself a reminder to let people know that you've said that if you if you're allowing me I believe that um, but anyways I know it's you're saying we're looking at it doesn't it does not mean that officially you will I understand that um, we have to look at how that will work with more than one pass yeah okay yeah i i understand i understand and um, for those who are able to complete those quests uh also in that thread that i linked uh meriden is, is reminding everyone that he is the guy that puts out the uh quest guides out there on steam like i said earlier that he seems to be uh he is the lore guy he is the only one that is doing this so uh yeah uh support support the guy he's the one that made that that is uh the main guy that is putting out their content for the lore and is helping us for the quest guides i want also because i just remember this i want to remind everyone that um uh in terms of completing some lore quests we were hoping that the carte blanche lore uh part five 
the octahedron that has been missing that it would be like re reintroduced in the game there was uh, an answer from blood hunt or someone from blood hunt that said that no it is currently still broken so part five is still not obtainable right now in the game at this moment at recording uh, Tobias, some more info is coming with the patch notes. Thank you very much. That's what I was hoping for. Um, I'll make sure to <laughs> let people know. Let people know if this Meriden will be very happy to uh, share this info with 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 everyone that is concerned. Because I can probably bet that right now, as time is ticking down, some people are probably getting worried. I've seen a few posts on. Um, on the blood hunt reddit of people going like wait a second what now um so um what's going to happen now um i've just got i've got some gifts to just like pass the time because i'm gonna be talking with no like reference visual references in the meantime <laughs> um uh so uh what's what's going to happen now is we get patch notes on monday we are going to get the patch on Tuesday. Uh, I would say, as usual, the usual time is, at least for me, it's 4 a.m. Eastern in the morning, uh, which is the, the usual patching time, uh, but we'll get confirmation on this. But if you want to plan ahead and mess up your, your sleep schedule, like I probably will, you know that that's when it happens. You know, pending, pending usual patching issues that might arise whenever a patch happens like so far like they've the patching itself of the game has always been like at least on on, on our side on client side uh has always been looking to be flawless even sometimes you know they give us the you know here are the maintenance times and usually like game is going to be available at this time and it usually is available earlier and uh usually there's no issues as far as we can tell on our end uh so yeah. Uh, I encourage you, though, if you're a person that is very meticulous about their settings of the game, I know that is not a thing that sometimes is, sometimes is not said, sometimes is not even intended on the dev side, but sometimes it may happen that with a patch, some settings may get reset. Uh, I know specifically for PS5 players, that you have been tweaking you've been just fine-tuning your controller settings you know it shouldn't take long for you but just i just, just sort of a, as a precaution or recommendation maybe just take like take your phone take some screenshots of your settings just in case for the patch in case some of them get mysteriously reset or anything or there might be a bug or whatever uh, I know that for PS5 players, it's something that is very, like, you know, you've been working on. So let's not have all this, like, go to waste then. Just take a few screenshots with your phone, a few pics, you know, just just do that. As It's just a recommendation that uh, I do with in games, when it comes to patching with some games that I really care about, like, when about the fine-tuning and all of this. So, I don't know. It's a recommendation. Um... Tobias are probably gonna go like, yeah, we don't we don't plan anything, but you never know. <laughs> um, also, um, ah, there you go, Smokey. Um, remember that also that if you ever had some hints or inference or promised things that you thought were gonna be in the patch. Uh, just keep your expectations to like a reasonable level. Sometimes you get some hints about stuff and then suddenly it doesn't like it doesn't come through or uh, it doesn't make it to the patch. As an example, uh, remember the summer update trailer? There were some things that you saw inside that trailer that are not currently available for us in the game. Uh, such as the, um, you know, there's been a, a few items that we saw in the trailer and there are several emotes that we saw in there that are still not available. Uh, the infamous butt slap. Um, I believe it was Jacob or um, 
David that modeled for this. We've still been confirmation and video confirmation proof of that. <laughs> but yeah, there's some there's some things that you know we're gonna have to look and see and uh, and figure out. So just keep expectations to normal level. But yeah, also with the uh, with the patch coming out, should get a bomb bomb ass trailer. Should get a bomb ass trailer because the trailers have been on freaking point like all of them um yeah so i'm you know if there's anything that I, I, i'm ex i'm looking forward to is the trailer <laughs> which is a weird thing to say um like we mentioned the link we have backlog of things exactly exactly that's why I, that's why i don't know if you were there when i talked about it like i it was <laughs> Though, the, Tobias, I was I was speculating that there's one that most people not necessarily did to take the took the time to see, but there is one that's usually on the on the right side of the trailer when you look at it, where you see one that's like doing the kind of zombie walk or something like that. Uh, was hinting that maybe it should be something for a Halloween event, possibly. But everyone's excited for the butt slap, that's for sure. Um, butt slap and i'm not looking forward to the chicken one like there's one that does that's doing the chicken dance i'm not looking forward to that when i get downed in prague and then someone does the chicken in front of me it's not gonna um we're gonna see a lot of that that's for sure um so yeah uh in terms of like what we're expecting remember that after that there will be a survey as we've mentioned so again i keep recommending to people Open up a notepad, a Word, a Google Notes, or whatever. You know that a survey is coming. If you have, and, and keep those like yeah, readily available. If you have just in general, like any idea or any suggestion about the game, don't hesitate to open that up and put your ideas in. Like I've heard some people on the stream come up with like some really good ideas that I'm just like, okay, they're gonna follow up on this, but I can't really trust people to do to do that. So um, yeah, keep doing it yourself, and especially after you checked out, you've checked out the patch. Check what you wrote down in terms of what you want or what you're expecting or what you'd like to see. Like, and when the the, the server is available like give the appropriate feedback like you could have a whole list of things just as usual keep it short and keep it simple don't need a whole novel to explain that you would like more cosmetics uh like that's easily that's easily said and done um and i would like to challenge most of you um that for in terms of feedback I would say that it's more easier for people to give negative feedback. It's less easier to bring some positive feedback. So I just want to remind people that you can say like, you know, uh, you can say something nice, you know, you can say like, you know, really like the art style of the direction of the costumes that are in store. Uh, thank you for nerfing Siren. Uh, you know, just you can you can throw in like you can throw in the compliment sandwich if you want you know it's not saying like tell them people oh my god shark mob you're so good like pull down your pants i'm gonna none of that it's just like you know you can't do you can you can say like i really appreciate this or that that you've that you've done with this patch like it's it's possible you know you can always throw in something like that um and no one asked me to say this. This is just me just going like, you know, uh, probably there's a barrage of things that could be said. Um, but anyways, I'm coming to the most, probably the most important update of the entire week. Which is that Morbius is now on Netflix. In case people like wanted to know that. So, moving on. Um, we're going into the section about giveaways now. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to remind everyone about the, um, the current giveaways that are happening. Mainly the uh, Level Infinite 
uh, giveaway that I've been telling about pe uh, telling people about, but there's a bunch of people that apparently don't follow this news stream, and that's unfortunate for them because they could have had more entries and a lot more giveaways if you've been following the in these last few weeks. I've been talking about giveaways all the time, man. Uh, so yeah, level infinite. Uh, that's. I forget exactly what they're doing. I think they help with publishing of several games. Um, but yeah, they get they have the uh, there will be 50 winners for this giveaway that ends at the uh, September 24th. There's plenty of entries that you can uh, that you can do, and at the end you uh, they will give some keys, some Steam keys for the games of Warhammer Dark uh, Warhammer Dark Tide V Rising Metal Hill Singer <laughs> coming soon, coming soon. Uh, GTFO and two exclusive skins of Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt. It does not say which skins. It wouldn't surprise me if it was the Techno Demon mask and the Fuchsia finish makeup. But anyways. If they are, and you already have them, you can always give them to your friends. If you stream, you can do giveaway. Sky's the limit. There are not wasted codes. Absolutely not. If you don't know what to do with them, send them my way. I'll do giveaways. <laughs> you know? Uh, so yeah, there's going to be 50 winners. So that means that a lot of keys, a lot of skins will be available to grab. Uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shmoky, what skins? What are the skins? We want to know. We haven't had any updates. Uh, next, uh, next giveaway is the... Extrify K5 keyboard official blood hunt. Oh, I forgot to bring up the picture of it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Just gonna put that here. There we are. If you've been following Combat Glue streams, uh, Samir's been showing off different versions, I believe, of the keyboard. It is up there sneakily on the side of his wall there if you want to pay attention to it but yeah so the, it's a it's an official blood hunt keyboard uh you've got the blood hunt space bar there you've i know you've got some uh icons that are all around it on the sides uh but yeah they have um hold on blue and queenie have a giveaway page so they also giving away a streaming microphone, by the way. Uh, 20 days left as of right now, and you have a daily um, a daily interaction that you can do to get more entries in if you want to get this. Uh, now, in terms of like, what is Extrify? Because I had some... Um, oh, by the way, yeah, it should end at the... Sorry, just saw my note. It should end probably on Friday, September 30th. So at the end of the month. Um, in terms of what exactly is an Extrify keyboard and why should we care about this? Well, this week they actually tweeted out a, uh, a demo of this. Uh, so, yeah. Um, this is a uh, custom, by the way, none of this is sponsored. None of this. There's no sponsors. I barely am just a baby. I'm not, I'm not ready to be sponsored yet. Um, <laughs> hoping to get affiliate now. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's different things that you can switch and move and customize and hold on. If I could just get the, there we go. Let's put it on a big screen. Just show a little demo of all the things that you can change with it, including the cord. And yeah, just an entirely, uh, entirely customizable keyboard. And this is what we're getting for Blood Hunt. We're going, we're getting some uh, custom Blood Hunt keyboards through this. Now, um, other giveaways. If you follow this, if you follow my Twitter account, if you follow this stream, you know what this is. I'm giving away uh, some codes for the purple paint jacket and the Candy Kid uh, eyeglasses I wear. Uh, it's one code and two items all bundled on one for PC only, unfortunately. Um, 
and yeah i uh when i'm recording this live so after this recording of the uh of my news bit i will be giving away one of these codes and also whenever you catch me streaming blood hunt i will have some of those codes to give away so follow notification all the things you know what to do if you want to have a chance at getting one of those codes that was part of an uh, intel promotion package deal but i managed to get my hands on some codes to give away to the community because hey we need we need more of this we need more community also follow my channel <laughs> just it's just a little self-promotion there um okay other things that have happened this week and i've been very 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 happy about this oh my god am i excited advanced gg changed a new profile pic you should recognize some of those items. Some f some people that followed this stream should already know what this is. Uh, but yeah, that's a, this a map of Prague behind this. These are familiar colors. Um, yeah, 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 finally, finally. So, let me link this. They're going all out. This is like, I like this dedication. They're going all out to this promotion of their new thing. The Blood Hunt Blood Orange flavor for Advanced GG. I'm so excited about this. So, <laughs> so you know, um, Blood Hunt says our flies are Advanced GG are launching a special limited uh, edition of Focus Blood Hunt's Blood Orange. You can join the waitlist by clicking the link here. And there are only 200 available, which is, guys, 200 available. They're not available for purchase right now, but you can join the waitlist. So when it's going to be available for purchase, you're going to get immediately emailed and you're going to be able to purchase that. Um, yeah, I already, like myself, I already had joined the waitlist for it. And I got this little, I got a little email with that little animation to let me know that the contest was on. So that's cute. And apparently it comes with a limited edition holographic label that, you know, the holographic sticker, the holo sticker that you've already seen or that you're going to see in a few moments. Um, and right now on Advanced GG, it is the first thing that you see when you launch in the page you see uh, the focus of SGG Blood Hunt being shown right here. You can click sign me up and join the wait list. Now, just put in your email. That's it. Now, a few people have asked me because it not, it's not necessarily known, but what exactly is Advanced GG? Again, this is not sponsored. <laughs> it's just not sponsored, but they label themselves as performance supplements for gamers you know all the you know all the stuff about like you know powder powder mixed with you know water in a shaker like there's a there's a dozen of them out there some of your favorite streamers are probably already partnered with them uh but they have three types of products that they sell they have focus energy and hydration are there they're 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 how can i say like their lines of products uh, hydration seems to be like a uh, electrolyte based uh, type of powder beverage. Uh, the energy one seems to be well all, all about energy. So you've got some green caffeine and some taurine that's introduced in this. And you've got the focus, uh, which is their flagship product. Like this is their main thing. It's because they have a new LVL. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it but it's their compound that supposedly helps improve concentration and reaction times, reduces error rates, and provides an energy boost to support you throughout your gaming sessions. Um, yeah, also sugar-free, keto-friendly, and uh, it's a very small bottle. It's not like those huge tubs that most of the other powder, um, powder drink competitors have. It's very small because it doesn't have any uh, new level, new level, yeah, something like that. Um, they don't fill in with uh, Maltzeldrexin filler, which is usually like why they have like they bring they have so much powder in it. It is not necessarily uh, something good. If I'm just clicking on one here, tubs about forty five dollars. Uh, I imagine that's in U.S. 
Um, and yeah, if you can go, if you go on the website, that's what they say about the, uh, that's the, that's the, um, normal, uh, disclaimer that they have to say about product details that is here. Um, and yeah, pr processing speed, executive function, energy, and accuracy is supposed to improve, uh, according to their studies. And yes, uh, there is, if you look at, you can here go look at the details of what's inside it. And you can see that their compound is in there and there is 200, uh, like in, in one scoop, there is 100 milligrams of uh, green tea caffeine that is inside there. Uh, if I remember correctly, I believe that the recommended dosage of caffeine, uh, of daily caffeine is about 400 milligrams. So, uh, there you go. So you, you can have like four scoops, uh, uh four scoops of, uh, uh, the Focus Advanced GG product and that you'd be like topped up for, <laughs> or your caffeine level, at least for the day. Um... So, uh, one thing that I know also about this is that they are known to make partnerships with streamers. So, um, they have starter kits that they provide, and these are, I assume, all streamers. So, they have their little packets, they have their shakers, and the packets are sampler sized. And as you can see, they, have, they choose different sorts of... Um, there's different sorts of samplers and different sorts of shakers that they have in there with a sticker. And I we can and I check this regularly, and I don't see there's a blood hunt one. We know that a blood hunt one exists because we've seen if you've been following some ambassadors or some representatives or just like the people that received boxes from blood hunt. Uh, some of them have had have received their shakers that they've been like testing the flavors. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let's let's hear some of your talk about him. I've already shown you this before. This is advanced oh, sorry. I'm just going to shut down the music so it's not blasting in your ears. And raise this level up here. Let's start again. If you haven't seen this clip, I've already shown this before, but let's watch it again. This is Advanced GG. Get a Blood Hunt holographic sticker. You get a uh, cotton candy, magic rainbow sherbet, one of my favorite, kiwi lime, and strawberry lemonade. Remember that I said that Advanced GG is the coolest. There you go. And apparently, uh, I believe that the stickers, the two stickers that are on the um, on the shaker, apparently glow in the dark. So uh, that is something that I believe will be available uh for purchase i guess soon probably at the same time as the um blood orange this is speculation i don't know um what else do i have to say uh there was oh wait i forgot to link this hold on so yeah, if you, you if you want to know, like you've heard those four uh, the four flavors that he mentioned there, you can go in. Uh, I believe two of them are focus, and two of them are energy. So you can find those flavors in those sections if you want to have like any sort of information exactly what those products are and what they taste like. And I will link this here. There is a second uh, giveaway from advanced gg if you click this twitter this twitter link that i gave you there um join the wait list to increase your chance uh to get a jar only 200 available but like and retweet for a chance to get a free jar at launch so this tweet you like and you retweet it you are in the listing to get also 
another chance at getting that uh, getting a free jar. So there you go. There's two different. Um, uh, da, 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 da. There is there's the oh, I mean there's this giveaway, but there's also the other giveaway. Which hold on a second. I need to just check this on the side. What time is it currently? It is way past the time. We don't have. Uh, oh, hold on. Sorry. Just want to check something. I needed to check something live. So, and I don't want to show if it's not something that's public. Uh, sorry. The grand prize winner will be announced on uh, Advanced GG's Twitter page. Well, it hasn't been announced so far, so I'm going to share this. Um, so, yeah, some people know about the... Um, the 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 the, the, the well how can you say like this giveaway that I've been telling you about for a while. Um, hold on, where is it? Where is it? It's not in. Oh God, I put it in another place again. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. So you can all see it properly. It was the giveaway to get a jar of blood orange and also to win one of those iron masks 50 ever made four runners up get $45 store credits and as i've shown you $45 is the price of a usual of usually a focus tub i believe that the other the other um types of product that they have uh, the price varies but focus is the um the most expensive one at $45 so the four runners up get you know the money to buy it if they want. Um, but yeah, the giveaway was completed, um, was was ended this week, and apparently, um, what was it, 72, 70, 72 hours after the ending of the giveaway, uh, the winners would be displayed on this page uh, and would also be shown on Advanced GG's Twitter page. Uh, but uh, as far as I can tell, like I've refreshed this page, I've refreshed the Advanced GG page. There's no winners declared yet, even though 72 hours should have been uh, about two hours ago. Two hours? Like one hour, two hours? Yeah, about two hours ago. Uh, but there's no winners yet. I wanted to take the chance maybe to acknowledge them, whoever they are, see if they're members of the community. But that will have to wait, I guess. Um, so at some point, the blood orange flavor will be available to purchase. We don't know yet, but if you know anyone that's partnered with them, you might want to already look for someone that's partnered with Advanced GG so you can get their partner code and maybe get a discount and they get a kickback. You know the deal. On a different note, still speaking of giveaways, TwitchCon. Uh, TwitchCon San Diego, we know that Combat has said, Combat Glue has said that they're going to TwitchCon San Diego, but mm, we don't know exactly what's going to be Blood Hunt's part in this. There's no detail, but it is in a month, so it's October 7th to October 9th that TwitchCon happens. Uh, so yeah, there's no details or confirmation of what's going to be happening there, but if we base our assumptions on what's happened in TwitchCon Amsterdam, and what's happened in Gamescom, and these things happen in both of them, it would not be unreasonable to assume that a custom PS5, a custom Bloodhunt PS5 and extra five Bloodhunt keyboard would probably be up for giveaway if you're on location. Again, nothing confirmed, but it would stand to reason that this would happen again. Um... And it wouldn't be surprising if suddenly you saw a bunch of streamers suddenly after this uh, on Twitch uh, to the, or people on Twitter that suddenly are having codes for the Techno Demon and Fuchsia Finish makeup. If you still want to have a go at grabbing one of them, 
it would stand to reason that there's going to be, probably. Because uh, keep in mind, this is the first presence of Blood Hunt in a gaming, in a gaming convention in the United States since the launch of the games. So there's probably a bunch of people in the United States that are going to hound them to get some codes. Codes, bro. You want codes, bro? Let's summon Della here. Codes, bro. Um, also, uh, let's take a moment to acknowledge, and I know this isn't just a marketing show right here, right now, but um, I don't think I have a, a nothing more than a link. But just to say that, yeah, the some people in the community have started to receive their Blood Hunt uh, mouse pads and have been sharing those. Um, oh, sorry, just gonna bring back the uh, bring back the chill hop. Uh, nope, full. There we go. Buffering. It's not time to buffer. Let's reload the page. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so some people have received their mouse pads. So far, everything, everyone seems to be happy. I want to, again, remind people that if you're going on the website, you have this section here where you can select the size of the mat that you're going to be ordering. There's a link here to see the uh, different dimensions of the mouse pads. And... Um, Let's say we pick a large one and we start designing. You're going to have the real Sophie's choice. Like probably one of the most hardest choices of your life. Is there an issue with the web page? I'm just going to reload. Uh, yeah, there are other things. Okay, so you're going to have a real Sophie's choice to uh, choose the design because all of the artwork, if I had the money, I would probably like buy one of each personally. Uh, you're gonna have to choose which one of it you want and in the next step you can add your gamer tag at the bottom if it's something that uh, interests you Let's say the text is in white um, so you can have this and I want to show you hold on let's make a little transition here I've received mine and uh, yeah, I went with the uh, the Excel version of it. Put that on the floor. And I went with the 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 key art of Blood Hunt. And let me show you that this this is actually gorgeous. This is this is great. This is absolutely huge. This is the biggest one. I had to I had to think of a few things because you know you're gonna have your mouse on it. So where do you have your mouse? Where you have your mouse? Where are you gonna like put it down? Where where are you gonna have some wear and tear? And all of this this is this is huge. It smells a lot of polyurethane, but uh, this the smell goes away with the time, which is usually what my dad says about everything. Um, there we go. I'm another one of the very happy customers. Uh, this seems to be like solid quality product. <sighs> Anyways, back to it. I just wanted to make a just some way, just wanted to like mention it because I hadn't seen a lot. So badly want a mouse pad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, different sizes, different different artwork. Really, like I would love to keep to have a mouse pad of all of them because like the artwork is so good it really is so good i was i was worried about the quality of the printing but n absolutely no worries after seeing it uh moving on to community events it's all it's going to be about the the blood hunt tournaments uh as usual we have uh this time this weekend it is uh duos this weekend, I should say this Saturday, that's happening right now. Um, we have um, duos and where did I, my news notes, there we go. And also want to point out that they, this time they're being uh, careful. They're not releasing any, um, 
any dates or information about the post patch a uh, post patch calendar they want to see what the uh uh what the patch is all going to be about before announcing anything which is wise especially because of uh because of the previous patch how things have changed um and something that is uh important in terms of uh the competition there were some questions about ps5 uh what's it say Last week's duels was primarily because Anarch's Frenzy doesn't allow PC and PS players to join each other's lobbies. This weekend's, this week's tournament is limited to PC as PS5 uh, players are capable of turning crossplay off during these tournaments. More information coming on the future. So right now, PS5 players are not included in the tournament, but they're saying more information coming in the future. So something's happening. Something's happening, and also there's the patch. So there's... I assume there's things in the background that are happening. And, um... Yeah, we're all going to see what's happening with this. It's just, I thought that it was going to be interesting to let people know of this. But in the meantime, if you're a PS5 player, uh, I've asked them, and they were, like, willing for me to... to, to to share the information but uh, uh biz uh, biz part tv has been bees part has been uh doing a tournament recently for ps5 and uh yeah blood hunt and combat glue have been helping with support and uh coming up with prizes for the winners uh yeah and i asked i asked them about that and they're uh they told me that uh yeah of course they are uh, thinking of putting more tournaments uh, for PS5 uh, in the future, also like pending exactly what's going to happen with the uh, with the patch, uh, but they're very willing to continue doing this for the community. Uh, they seem to be very um, very focused on making that happen. So if you're a PS5 player, you want to be a part of the tournaments, give them a follow uh, because they'll always be um, they'll always be happy to. Um, help you out or help the, 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 uh, the, the, the community out with this. Uh, however, you have to, <laughs> he said, you have to excuse his English because as it's, <laughs> as it's clearly written here, he is in Spain. Uh, he speaks, uh, you know, broken, uh, broken English through Spanish. So, you know, uh, cut him some slack. <laughs> so, Oh my god, that's that's what I had to say in terms of, um, wait, what's this here? Oh no, that's, that's the thing that I forgot to mention, there we go. Okay, so, I think in terms of news, that is about it. <laughs> Hold on, I need a drink. So, what are we expecting now? Well, now, right now, for the week, Battle Pass expires in two days. Last chance to get your seasonal outfits from the store. We've got four more unique Twitch drops that are coming in the next few weeks. Uh, right now, there's there's the Sicario uh, tattoo that, if you don't currently have, you should have while watching my stream <laughs> or any other uh, stream that supports it. Uh, we've got patch notes on Monday. We've got patch going live on Tuesday. Um, which, uh, which will probably be accompanied by a trailer, and uh, that's gonna focus on the trailer's gonna like focus on the new battle pass and the items that are gonna be in it. We're gonna see exactly what a shorter and sweeter noir pass is going to do, uh, and shortly after that, we're probably gonna have a we're not probably we are going to have a survey that is probably going to last. The entire week until the following Monday in which you will give all your feedback we're gonna see what a shorter sweeter uh, battle pass means but if that doesn't mean the length of the battle pass and we're sticking to a 62 day battle pass this would mean but well, I mean the two previous battle pass have been uh, about 62 days if the if we were sticking to the 62 days it means that on November 14th, that would be the 
last day of the battle pass and the next one would start on november 15th if you have i would say like wait until the patch is live and then we're gonna see what happens but if you have any other like if you want to if you if you're the kind of guy that hey best part is right here <laughs> he's in chat there we go uh i just mentioned you man um so yeah if uh so so like here's an opportunity if you want to if you're a ps5 player you want to be a part of the tournament so you want to see like contact him about in, in for a tournament like you can click him right here and go follow his twitch channel uh you can ask him questions live there um so what i was saying is if you're the kind of person that plans ahead or you have still have some vacation days from the work or the office or you want to be like there whenever there's going to be a patch and you got to be live and you want to be a part of it then maybe keep the dates of like november 14 november 15 or the week that it's that is there keep that in mind but before reserving any vacations for that for that week like or some days off or whatever you want to be there wait until the battle pass is official and we have an official length for it before doing anything uh, I couldn't wait because I had to do it for <laughs> for work I had to confirm my vacations for the rest of the year so uh, maybe I'm going to be able to move them if it's not that but yeah we're going to confirm this all on Tuesday when we jump back in Prague to see what they've prepared for us so Two hours, 20 minutes into this chonky, chonky, chungus full of news. That's it. <laughs> uh, reminder to be kind to each other. Uh, give me a follow on Twitch. The channel is growing. I appreciate everyone for, uh, for joining up inside the channel. Um, and... You know, the more people I get in here, I am so close to reaching affiliates. And I'm currently thinking about, like, all the stuff to do with my channel. Emotes and a bunch of stuff that I have to think about. And a team to join or whatever. I still haven't had... This has been a busy week. I haven't been able to give even, a, like, a thought about any of this. So, uh, remember that when I stream Blood Hunt, you'll get, you'll get now the ability to get the special drops of the week. And I also do the code giveaways that I've mentioned earlier. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.